Hey guys, welcome to David vs. Film. I am David, yo soy David, and tonight I'm going head to head with Fight Club 1999. A big hey, hi, and hello to all of you, but to returning viewers and especially returning subscribers, what's up? I am so eager to watch this movie. I have not seen Fight Club ever. I know a little bit about it, obviously. We don't talk about Fight Club. I don't know why we don't talk about Fight Club. I know it's got Brad Pitt, Edward Norton, and that's about the extent of it. Although I did see when I was pulling it up, uh, about to watch her on Hulu, that it showed David Fincher as the director. And I've seen a few of his things and really enjoy his work. So all things are going in its favor so far. This was a poll winner over on Patreon against Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. It was pretty close, so I still want to watch that one. Uh, and also, Big Trouble in Little China was right behind it, so I expect to have those coming in soon on the channel as well. But for tonight, it's all about Fight Club. If you would like to see the full unedited version of this reaction, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything we don't talk about, you can find that over on Patreon, patreon.com slash David versus film. There's also access to our Discord server over there, uh, polls like the one that chose this movie to help me figure out what to watch next and more. So please check that out if you would like. I always appreciate you watching here on YouTube. I simply ask you consider clicking subscribe. Be sure to check the notification bell if you do. A like and a share is always appreciated. And last but not least, if we're not friends on Instagram, let's be friends. I'll leave a link to my Instagram down below. And be sure to leave those amazing comments like you always do because they're how I get to know you better and also learn more about the movie. So without further ado, let us grab our hymnals, boys and girls, turn to page 1999 and watch Fight Club. People are always asking me if I know Tyler Durden. Tyler, oh shit, all right. With a gun barrel between your teeth, you speak only in vowels. I can't think of anything. In two minutes, primary charges will blow base charges. I know this because Tyler knows this. It's got something to do with a girl named Marla Singer. Jesus. Well, we just jumped right in, didn't we? Work our way backwards, okay. Eight months ago, Bob's testicles were removed, then hormone therapy. He developed bitch tits. Meatloaf? R.I.P. Let me start earlier. For six months, I couldn't sleep. With insomnia, nothing's real. Everything's a copy of a copy. I feel like this is a lot to process so far. I don't know exactly where we're headed. It's in three different directions in less than five minutes, which is always fun. You can't die from insomnia. Can you please just give me something? I need the drugs, man. You need healthy, natural sleep and get more exercise. It's always the exercise, right? Like, no matter what you're going with, you can have like a broken arm and the doctor's like, mm, I think you need more exercise. See the guys with testicular cancer. Oh. That's pain. I like how it glitched like a person next to me. How you're saying you don't know what's reality when you're an insomniac. Mindy wanted two girls and a boy. She had her first child last week uh, with a new husband. Oh, damn. Okay, so that's why he's at the support group. All right. And this is how I met the big moosey. Oh, with his boobs. Cornelius, you can cry. Come here, buddy. Meatloaf is good. He's, he's a good actor. I found freedom. Aww. Babies don't sleep this well. Okay, well, I guess it worked then. All right. I was kind of wondering at first if that's kind of like, if that's okay to kind of crash other support groups when you don't have that issue. But I guess they're sort of welcoming regardless. Oh, Rupert. Okay, so he goes with a fake name everywhere he, everywhere he crashes. That makes sense. This was my vacation. And she ruined everything. Oh, there she is. That hot mess I love so much. Vintage Helena Bonham, by the way. Look at her. She hasn't even probably been to wardrobe. This is how she walks in off the street. And they're like, it's just perfect, Helena. Just go on in. I had seen her at Free and Clear, my blood parasites group Thursdays. Then at Hope, my bi-monthly sickle cell circle. <laughs> Marla. Her lie reflected my lie. So once again, I couldn't sleep. Oh, she's f with his, with his peace. Well, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm so close to the end and all I want is to get laid for the last time. I have pornographic movies in my apartment. Oh, okay. Chloe kind of turned into a little personal ad there at the end, but I get it. You know, she likes to say she wants to have one last go before she, you know, checks out. I'm on to you. What? Yeah. You're a faker. So? I'll expose you. Go ahead. I'll expose you. Yeah, exactly. You're kind of in the same boat. I can't cry if there's another faker present, and I need this. It's not my problem. 
Oh, shit, yeah. She doesn't care. We're gonna split up the week, okay? Testicular cancer should be no contest, I think. <laughs> well, technically, I have more of a right to be there than you. You still have your balls. Oh! Hey, I mean, on some level, she's making some sense right there. Take both the parasites. They're yours. Hey, you left half your clothes. Right. Marla don't give a f if those are even her clothes. And I'll tell you this much about Edward Norton. He is like Will Ferrell to me. I never get excited about watching any of his movies. They don't make me, you know, like rush out to see them. But when I'm watching them, I love their films. We each had three, that's six. What about the seventh day? I want a sending bowel cancer. Look, we're gonna <laughs> split it, okay? Take the first and third Sunday of the month. Deal. It's kind of sad because I like them together. Maybe, maybe we should exchange numbers. Okay. Why is no one honking at her? You know what I mean? Like usually when people wander in the street, you're like, and they all stop. She's just walk between cars like raindrops. Wake up at O'Hare, Dallas, Fort Worth, BWI. If you wake up in a different place, could you wake up as a different person? Oh, there he is. Oh, BP. I was a recall coordinator. My job was to apply the formula. Mm. Are there a lot of these kinds of accidents? You wouldn't believe. Life insurance pays off triple if you die on a business trip. Is that true? You know why they put oxygen masks on planes? Oxygen gets you high. In a catastrophic emergency, you're taking giant panic breaths. You become euphoric. What? I mean, that makes sense. I won't repeat that until I do my independent research, but that makes sense. What do you do? I make and I sew soap. And this is how I met Tyler Durden. Tyler Durden. All right. One can make all kinds of explosives using simple household items. Science. Now a question of etiquette. As I pass, do I give you the ass or the crutch? <laughs> All right, I already like Tyler. That's a fun character. My suitcase was vibrating. Nine times out of ten, it's an electric razor, but... But that one time... It's a dildo. <laughs> oh my god. Home was a condo on the 15th floor of a filing cabinet for widows and young professionals. God, what happened to my jump? Oh, shit. Jesus. He's having a rough day. Hey, he's got lots of support groups to help him get through it, though, right? If you ask me now, I couldn't tell you why I called him. You're not going to believe this. <laughs> Kaboom. Couldn't be worse. A woman could cut off your penis while you're sleeping and toss it out the window of a moving car. Lorena Bobbitt. Maybe it's a terrible I like the camera angles too. Just, just stuff. Because it's really moving the film along. You know, it's like we're doing a lot of setup, but it doesn't feel draggy at all. It's it's very good. Just ask, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> Three pitches of beer and you still can't ask. Is he gonna let him crash? Oh, yeah, he's gonna let him crash with him. Can I stay at your place? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want you to do me a favor. Yeah, sure. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. What? I was just about to say, we're, we're so far into it, we haven't even talked about the fight club part yet. Tyler was a night a person. A little bit of fight. Oh, okay. All right. He had one part-time job as a projectionist. Someone has to be there to switch the projector. If you look for it, you can see these little dots come into the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Oh, uh, okay. It affords him other interesting opportunities. Like splicing single frames of pornography into family films. Oh, that was what the dick was. Oh, that's clever. That's funny. Nice big cock. <laughs> I was wondering what he was doing with the taping and all. So he works a multitude of jobs then. Tyler also worked sometimes as a banquet waiter. He farted on meringue, sneezed on braised on deep. Oh my god. Tyler's like mayhem from those insurance commercials. He's like the alter ego of, of Edward Norton's character who's very like kind of straight laced, you know what I mean? Kind of like mundane a little bit. And then Tyler's just nuts. You want me to hit you? That's right. Oh. <laughs> Motherfucker! Oh. Ah. Right into the station wagon. You know what I really like here is that they're not using over-the-top sound effects. I feel like so many times when there's fights, it's like a blah, blah, blah. It's like it's like really loud, but this sounds like actual like how I would think it would sound. You know, I'm not really a fighter, I'm more of a lover, but I'm just saying, like that seems more realistic. Paper Street. I don't know how Tyler found that house but he said he'd been there for a year. It's like the movie Money Pit. Every time it rained, we had to kill the power. Good God. 
is with the club now. If you want to get in on the action. Oh yeah, you gotta go to work. Yeah, you can, they're gonna have some questions. After fighting, everything else in your life got the volume turned down. What? Good lord. I don't know my dad. He left when I was like six years old. Is that water even clean? You, I mean, in this place, I feel like you're making yourself dirtier in that tub. Get married. You can't get married. I'm wondering if another woman is really the answer we need. So it kind of felt kind of like... Most of the week we were Ozzy and Harriet. Like somewhat of a romantic kind of... Not in the colloquial way, but I guess like just this sort of connection between the two of them. We were finding out more and more that we were not alone. Monday mornings, all I could do was think about next week. You can swallow a pint of blood before you get sick. <gasps> Is that true? It was on the tip of everyone's tongue. Tyler and I just gave it a name. Turn off the jukebox. Lock the back. This is good. I don't want to ever watch it. Probably Edward Norton, honestly. I really so far like obviously the acting is good, but the writing and the the way that they've shot it is so good. Really keeps things moving along. Welcome to Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. There it is. If this is your first night at Fight Club, you have to fight. Oh. Who you were in Fight Club is not who you were in the rest of the world. Shatner. I'd fight William Shatner. William Shatner. So if you don't talk about Fight Club, how do you get anyone into it? Good Lord, look at Brad Pitt. 1% body fat. Afterwards, we all felt safe. How about next week? <sighs> Fell down some stairs. <laughs> no one in the hospital believes that excuse. I haven't seen you in any support groups. How'd you find me? You left that forwarding number. I took what was left of a bottle. Might have been too much. Mm-hmm. This is probably one of those cry for help things. So you're staying in tonight then? <laughs> I can use a phone. Oh, yeah, I was wondering where old Marla was and how she's gonna factor into this. And if they even allow women in the fight club, because it's was just men, but God knows there's some women who can throw down. I mean, Demi Moore alone back in these days could have kicked my ass six ways to Tuesday. You won't believe this dream I had last night. Yeah, I can hardly believe anything about last night. Oh, <gasps> Marla. What, what are you doing here? Fuck you. Oh, you got some fucked up friends, I'm telling you. Oh, did he pick up the phone while he had it? Oh, because he was just next. Phone's off the hook. Like in the other room. Guess who's on the other end? I already knew the story before he told it to me. Prepare. Who this is? To evacuate soul. <laughs> he and Marla do seem like a very Sid and Nancy kind of pairing. You know what I mean? Like they would probably do well together. You're not into her, are you? No. God, not at all. That's good, because she's a predator. And the shit that came out of this woman's mouth, I ain't never heard. I haven't been fucked like that since grade school. Oh my God, what the hell? She invaded my support groups, now she'd invaded my home. Got their own fight club going, huh? Or fuck club. Just going to bed. You wanna finish her off? Oh, oh. No. Who are you talking to? Shut up. <laughs> Detective Stern with the arson unit. We have some new information about the incident at your former condo. Well, arson unit. Ammonium oxalate potassium chloride. Do you know what this means? Arson? It means it was homemade. Oh, Tyler was talking on the plane about how you can use household goods, right? Who would go and do such a thing? I'll ask the questions. Don't. Nobody takes this more seriously. That was not just a bunch of stuff that got destroyed. It was me. I'd like to thank the Academy. Yeah. Are you saying that I'm a suspect? No, no. Well, how about you just let me know if you're going to leave town? Mm-hmm. You suspect. So I thought maybe Tyler did it for a minute, but is it Marla? Did Marla do this? The condom is the glass slipper of our generation. What? So special. Bam. Okay, girl. She's so f weird, and I just, I love her. She's so bizarre. Yeah, not that we don't love your little visit. You know, you are such a nutcase. I can't even begin to keep up. Oh, and that's saying something. What are we doing tonight? We make soap. To make soap, first we render fat. 
I mean, I know, I know what rendering fat means, but in this context, like, how are they going to do that? Wait, what is this place? A liposuction clinic. Oh, see? That's what I'm talking about. I knew it would be something fucking weird world. and crazy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, it's caught on the barbed wire. Oh, God. Just let that one go, buddy. Just let that one go. Good God. Oh, there's not enough tide in the world that's going to get that stain out. Ugh. Once the towel hardens, you can skim off a layer of glycerin. If you were to add nitric acid, you got nitroglycerin. Yeah, with enough soap, one could blow up just about anything. Did he blow his place up? Did Tyler blow up Edward Norton's place? This is lie. The crucial ingredient. This is a chemical burn. Ah! You'll hurt more than you've ever been burned, and you will have a scar. Oh, God! Look at your hand. Shut up. If our fathers bailed, what does that tell you about God? Oh, Jesus. It's only after we've lost everything that we're free to do anything. Oh, my God. Tyler's crazy. It's time to get off the real estate guy and find somewhere else to live, dude. Tyler sold his soap to department stores at $20 a bar. This is the best soap. It's people. We were selling rich women their own fat asses back to them. Yeah, well, that's, that's a better, more poetic way to put it. True. The first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. Oh, sh Make a managerial decision. You find this, what would you do? Join Fight Club. I'd be very, very careful who you talk to about that because the person who wrote that is dangerous. Pumping round after round in the colleagues and co-workers. Good God. I would sh my pants out of fear. I need you to check and see if there's a lump in my breast. Right there. Uh. No, nothing. Well, it's a relief. Thank you. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. See you. They have such a weird, like, dynamic with each other. And I kind of miss the support groups. I miss Bob. Cornelius! Oh my God! Que suerte, it's Bob. I mean, I don't know if it was the breast check that made me think about him or what, but I realized we hadn't seen him in a minute. Here we go. This movie's good, it's very good. I got something so much better now. Really, what is it? First rule is, I'm not supposed to talk about it. Oh sh Bob's in Fight Club? How come he hasn't seen him there? Is there more than one Fight Club? You heard about the guy that invented this thing? Yeah, actually. I hear I... all kinds of things. Yeah? He's a great man. Do you know about Tyler Durden? Heard of him. Look at Bob putting them titties into it. Good job, Bob! Yeah! Wow. I, mean, I gotta say again, I'm really, really impressed with Meatloaf in this movie. I, I don't think I've ever seen him in an acting role, sort of a music video back in the day. We've all been raised on television to believe that one day we'd all be millionaires and movie gods and rock stars. There's Jared Leto. I thought I saw Jared Leto in the credits. I was like, where is he at? I haven't seen him so far in this movie. You? I'm fucking Lou. I'm fucking Lou, okay. Who the fuck are you? I kind of wondered, yeah, who was the owner of this place. I want everybody out of here right now. Hey, you should join our club. You're in. Good job, Lou. Still not getting it. Hey. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Shit, I lost it. <laughs> Use the He's crazy, but Brad Pitt is so good in this. Bryce, he is good. He's uh, playing crazy, like, to the T. This week, you're going to go out. You're going to start a fight with a total stranger. Okay. Hey, watch out. <laughs> this is not as easy as it oh sounds. My God. Oh, my God. Most people, normal people, do just about anything to avoid a fight. Yeah, that's true. That makes sense. Uh, we need to talk. Okay. Oh, geez, he's gonna start a fight with him. Oh, God. You keep me on the payroll as an outside consultant. My job will be never to tell people these things that I know. Blackmail, in other words. Get the fuck out of here. You're fired. Oh. oh. What the hell are you doing? Oh, sh oh, sh dedication. No, please stop. Oh, my God. He is nuts. For some reason, I thought of my first fight with Tyler. F oh, thank God. Please don't hit me again. 52 weekly paychecks, and this is how Tyler and I were able to have Fight Club every night of the week. And whistling Dixie on the way out. 
You know, it occurs to me at this point, I don't really even know Edward Norton's character's name because he had so many different ones. I don't know which one's the right one. Tyler dreamed up new homework assignments. The little troublemakers. To the extreme. Is that a gun? Please, please tell me that's not a gun. It's a gun. What? Stop, what are you doing? Come on. Can't find your back. Oh my god. What did you want to be, Raymond K. Hessel? <laughs> veterinarian, veterinarian. Animals. Yeah, animals. If you're not on your way to becoming a veterinarian in six weeks, you will be dead. Oh my god, is this how they get people to be veterinarians? That wasn't funny. What the fuck was the point of that? Tomorrow will be the most beautiful day of Raymond Castle's life. I mean, it's extreme, but that's a good point. Kaboom. If the applicant is young, tell him he's too young. If the applicant then waits for three days, he may then enter and begin his training. Oh, they're inviting more people. He's inviting more people in or what? So it's like Fight Club Academy? You're too young to train here. End of story. Now quit wasting our time. Get the fuck out of here. What do you mean too young? He looks as old as the two of them. I f love that robe, by the way. I noticed it earlier and I meant to say something. It's just so good. All right. <laughs> He's not too young. You're too old, fat man. It's always something. Bob. Bob. Aww. Listen up, maggots. You are not special. We are all part of the same compost team. Okay, Leto's back. There we go. So I have to say just quickly at this point, I really don't know, honestly, where the movie's going. But I will say this has been so far like an incredible ride because of, again, the writing, the way they've shot it, and the acting. But I've never been so entertained that I recall by a movie that I can't quite place what exactly is going on yet. We believe this is one of many recent acts of vandalism, somehow related to underground boxing clubs. Get to a smiley face. This is getting big now. What the fuck did you guys do? Sir, the first rule of Project Mayhem is you do not ask questions, sir. Project Mayhem. So side little trivia note, by the way, Jared Leto is from the same hometown I'm from, Bossier City, Louisiana. Yay. Streets are safer now. I gotta take a piss. These are the first steps in prevention and enforcement. Oh, sh they infiltrated. You're gonna publicly state that there is no underground group, or these guys are gonna take your balls. <gasps> Do not fuck with us. That's fucked up. Don't mess with unions. Come on. I felt like destroying something beautiful. <laughs> I think I still like at least. Get him to a fucking hospital. Yeah. Yeah, whatever the nearest hospital is this place, it's gotta be like, what the f is going on, guys? I mean, seriously. Why wasn't I told about Project Mayhem? The first rule of Project Mayhem is you do not ask questions. Hey, Tyler! Yeah, he's on the road. Mayhem. Forget about what you think you know about life, about friendship, and especially about you and me. Die right now, how would you feel about your life? I don't know. I wouldn't feel anything good about my life. Is that what you want to hear me say? Stop fucking around. Jesus Christ. Ooh, these camera angles are just so good. Stop trying to control everything and just let go. Why do you think I blew up your condo? <gasps> he did. How though? I mean, just barely met him. Even how do you have time? How do you know where he lived? I don't. I don't have to. Revisit all that because I don't remember. Jesus. Again, the sound design, I have to say, very realistic, very realistic sound design. Not over the top like you usually see or hear. <laughs> we just had a near life experience. 
Good God. And then, Tyler was gone. What? The house had become a living thing. Planet Tyler. What kind of operation they got going on here? It has expanded. What comes next in Project Mayhem? Only Tyler knows. Get the fuck away from me! Who are all these people? There she is. She looks sober. Can I come in? Tyler's gone. What? Tyler isn't here. Mm. Oh god, I'm getting busted. Oh no. Is it Tyler? We were on assignment. Destroy a piece of corporate art. They shot Bob. No! They shot him in the head. <gasps> oh, oh no! Oh god. god, oh god, yeah. Yeah, they got him. We gotta get rid of this body! Bury him. This is a man and he has a name. And it's Robert Paulson. Oh, Bob. In death, a member of Project Mayhem has a name. Robert Paulson. Paulson. Jesus, look at his face. His name is Robert Paulson. His name is Robert Paulson. His name is Robert These guys are just so lost, they just go along with anything, right? They're like sheep. I went to all the cities on Tyler's used ticket stubs, bar hopping. I'm looking for Tyler Durden. I wish I could help you, sir. That was weird. Tyler had been busy setting up franchises all over the country. Nobody knows what he looks like. He has facial reconstructive surgery every three years. <laughs> Where's he getting the money to, like, just this little travel adventure right here you know like all these flights like where is he getting his money from i mean he's still getting paid from his company but it's a lot of money i was always just one step behind tyler welcome back sir how have you been oh f this guy got beat bad you were in here last thursday you were standing exactly where you are now asking how good security is as tight as a drum sir who do you think i am you're mr durden what? Did he tell him to say that? Like, did Brad Pitt say if he comes in, tell him that, to say that? Have we ever done it? What kind of stupid question is that? Just answer the question, Marla, please. You fuck me, then snub me. You love me, you hate me. Is that a pretty accurate description of our relationship, Tyler? <gasps> what is wrong with you? Say my name. Tyler Durden. Tyler oh. Durden, you fucking freak. He's got multiple personalities. <gasps> you broke your promise. Jesus, Tyler. You fucking talk to her about me. Oh, but there he is. Or is this a mental thing? I'm confused. Why do people think that I'm you? I think you know. Because we're the same person. That's right. Oh, sh You were looking for a way to change your life. All the ways you wish you could be? That's me. Oh, he created an alternate personality for himself. Okay, I think I'm getting it. If that's what I'm understanding correctly. People do it every day. They talk to themselves. They see themselves as they'd like to be. We should do this again sometime. <gasps> no, you have a house. Rented in your name. You have jobs because you can't sleep. Why well, you stay up and make soap? Oh! Oh, he did. Oh, from the very beginning, because he said that um, when you can't sleep, you don't know what's real and what's not. But it's definitely an extreme version. Is anybody here? Uh. Yeah, with enough soap, we can blow up just about anything. Mm -mm. I think something really terrible is about to happen at your building. You have got... Standard control, sir. <gasps> oh, he's part Heavy? of it. Don't worry about us, sir. We're solid. Oh, oh, so back to the very, very, very beginning where he's sitting in the chair. But he was tied up. This is so weird. I don't, it's very strange. Did he tie himself up? Marla! Marla! You are whacked out, ball free! Came here to the fucking room! Oh, I know. They almost Fine. broke my arm! Gotta hear me. Oh, here comes an avalanche of bullshit. <laughs> I love that line. Oh my god, I have to remember that. Here comes an avalanche of bullshit. That's so good. Sir, anything you order is free of charge. Clean food, please. I advise against the lady agent. I'm <laughs> Again, the humor. So good. I really like you, Marla. You do? I really do. Marla, your life is in danger. You're an insane person. <laughs> Yes, girl, get the hell out. Take this money and get on this bus, and I promise you I will never bother you again if that's what you want. I'm not paying this back. I consider it asshole tax. <laughs> that's so good. You're the worst thing that ever happened to me. 
It's like a mob wife, though, right? Like, get out of town for your own safety. <sighs> it's a lot in this movie, but so, so, so good. I believe the plan is to blow up the headquarters of these credit card companies. If you erase the debt record, then we all go back to zero. Okay. I need to make a phone call. I really admire what you're doing. Oh, sh**. We are aborting this mission right now. You said you would definitely say that. Oh! Mm-mm. Oh, please be dreaming. Is there any time in this? Oh, no! No! Mm-mm! Get away from me! Drop this fucking knife! Drop it! What the fuck is happening? First person comes out, this fucking door gets a... gets a lead salad, you understand? <laughs> My God. Franklin Street, yeah, it's one of the targets for like 1888 or something. No one said. Mm, that'll do it. Hey, by the way, did you guys ever see Arlington Road? Whole different kind of movie than this, but like it's, it's it reminds me of it a little bit in the whole like gaslighting way and you don't see it coming kind of thing. That was a great movie too. Not as good as this one, but. Wouldn't do that. Not unless I knew which wires for what. If you know, then I know. Fair. Oh, heavens no, not the green one. <laughs> oh, heavens no. God damn it! Whoa! Buying a gun at your imaginary friend. <laughs> oh, he is 16 different kinds of crazy. Is he doing this to himself? I mean, obviously, but it's just like hard to believe. And I love the security angle that they show with the camera. That's cool. Think of everything we've accomplished, man. One step closer to economic equilibrium. Okay, after everything, that hurt, but whatever, sure. Please, I'm begging you, please call this off. You're not real, that gun is in my hand. <gasps> no. No. Mm. Oh, this is weird. Weird, 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 weird. Are you uh, survive that? Are you all right, sir? Oh yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Leave her with me. And get your stuff. I'm eating you downstairs. How the hell did you survive that? He shot himself in the head. Oh my God, your face. Yeah. Who did this? You shot yourself. Girl, it's gonna take a little more and some tissue. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> you met me at a very strange time in my life. <laughs> to say the least. Great song. Oh, the little splice in. That is one of the weirdest, strangest, trippiest, awesomest movies I've ever seen. I honestly would prefer for you guys to kind of drive this conversation in the comments so that we can have a talk about it. But I will say a few things as far as my impressions, just, you know, immediately after watching this. Uh, first of all, the acting, insanely good. I have to give major props to Brad Pitt, Edward Norton, Helena Bonham Carter, and especially Meatloaf. I have to say, as Bob, Bob was one of those characters that was just so great, and I would have never expected that from him. But seriously... The two of them, uh, as far as Edward Norton and Brad Pitt go, especially I have to say Brad Pitt, it's like, look, I said during the reaction that Edward Norton is not always the kind of actor that makes me rush out to see something, but I have to give credit where credit's due, and his performance in this was just next level. It kind of reminded me on some sort of areas of Primal Fear with Richard Gere, where he was playing, spoiler alert, if you don't want to hear anything, you haven't seen Primal Fear, then turn away for a second where he was doing both roles and then he did it so well that you thought that he was the innocent guy and in the end he was the bad guy. So I feel like this had some sort of parallels to that. Uh, but then this was like that on acid because, I mean, these two characters were just insane. Tyler, that the, that persona that was created as his, as his sort of like um, alternative, you know, to, to do the things he always wanted to do that didn't do, um, 
it, it just it just blew my mind. I guess in a way we were sort of told from the very beginning, you know, when he I think said or it was like a voiceover or something like that that when you are um, an insomniac, uh, you don't quite know the difference between what's real and what isn't. And we saw glimpses of the of the blips, you know, of, of people and. And that was sort of like a, a, a sort of, you know, taste into what he was going through with trying to, you know, reconcile what was real with what wasn't. This break with reality that he had. Uh, and then it just went from there. Um, but yeah, so as far as the substance of the film, I feel like we covered a lot of that during the reaction. But I definitely want to hear what you guys think. Uh, so kind of getting into the technical then for a second. Um, the sound design. Amazing. The direction. Amazing. The writing, the writing, the way that things were communicated in this, as far as I remember one point he said, smells like fried chicken. Um, just, just all of it was just so, you know, um, brilliantly uh, conveyed. And, and, and you don't see that a lot. Uh, there are certain writers, and I need to look up who this was uh, after I get done with this, because I want to definitely see more from him, her, or a group of whoever it was that, that wrote this film. Uh, but it was just so, so standout good. You know, there are just certain times where you think, okay, you know, this person did really well as far as, you know, their performance, but the writing is just sort of average. Uh, and then other times you see something like this where it's a combination of the brilliant acting and a, and a phenomenal script that just comes together and it's just pure perfection. So I thought about that. Uh, also, uh, what was it? So I noticed that, oh, oh, the, the, the filming, the, and this kind of goes into the direction, but the angles, you know, that we saw the cinematography, the, the, the close-ups and the occasional breaking of the fourth wall, which I personally always appreciate. I know some people don't like that. I love that. Um, you know, I, I have to say, I don't know what I thought Fight Club was going to be coming into it. And I didn't understand, you know, the, the uh, movie poster with the soap. And now I do. Um, I mean, honestly, I would have thought from the beginning that you put the soap in a sock and beat the out of somebody with it. But this was so much more ingenious. Um, all of it just came together so well. Hell, I'm Carter, who I love already. Uh, I thought was so, so, so amazing in this. Uh, yeah, I, I, I definitely understand why you guys fought, pun intended, for this movie and why you also voted it on Patreon as, as your choice. Uh, above the others because this was something truly phenomenal again without looking into it i don't know if this was nominated for awards i would suspect it was i get the feeling uh as i said earlier that this is one of those kind of movies where it either gets heavily nominated because it's so unique and such a a phenomenal piece of filmmaking uh or it was completely ignored it's it, i feel like it goes kind of either way you know with these types of movies, but I have to close on giving major props to Edward Norton. You know, like I said, he's not my favorite actor. He's not usually the kind of, you know, actor that I rush out to see his movies. But when I watch them, I think to myself, damn, I'm so wrong because this guy just kills it. Uh, so yeah, he and Brad Pitt both along with Helen Bonham Carter and again, Meatloaf, I have to, I have to say pretty, pretty, pretty entertaining uh thank you guys so much to you who recommended this movie um to you guys who watched this reaction video i certainly appreciate you spending some time with me today uh let me know your thoughts i really you know i just want to kind of throw out a few things here but i really like i said want you guys to drive the conversation on this let me know behind the scenes let me know uh trivia that i love so much uh, but more importantly, let me just know your thoughts and things you took away from this movie. Uh, oh, and by the way, Jared Leto. Hey, again, Bozier City Boy. Good job to him, too. Kind of a small role, but but he did well in that. And then the face makeup. Oh, the makeup, too, by the way. Yeah. Hand, hats off to the makeup department because some of these guys look really f***ed up. But anyway, yeah. Let me know your thoughts on this. Thank you so much, as always. Please like, share, subscribe. Those things are completely free to you, but they really help me out. I just really enjoy getting spending time with you guys, though. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day slash night, wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now